This is Andrew for CollectionDX.com taking a look at the newcomer to the uh, Combiner Wars Stunticons. This is Off-Road. So Off-Road is another kind of regular sized deluxe transformer about five and a half inches tall. A little bit taller actually because of his uh, big backpack thing here. Here's a quick size comparison with him and Bossman Motormaster and also Breakdown as you saw in the last video. So. They look all pretty good together. Off-road's definitely a bit more uh, skinnier than either Motormaster or Breakdown, but he looks pretty good. And um, so this guy, we kind of seen already that he's getting uh, remolded and repainted as first aid as part of the Protecto bots. And uh, he's kind of just a, a new filler guy that's uh, being done for the American or international release, I should say, of uh, Combiner Wars. But he's pretty good looking, you know, I like the the gray paint, the turquoise limbs on him. Um, he feels solid, you know, he's got the regular lay of like ball jointed hips, uh, thigh swivel, working knees, and he's got ball jointed shoulders, he's got a bicep swivel here. His uh, elbows actually have kind of a soft ratchet on them as well, and he's got these movable arm shields there and also ball jointed head. So overall he's a nice, pretty nice design, um, pretty nice figure. He's actually probably my favorite of the bunch just because he's very straightforward and simple. And uh, I also as a kid I actually had uh, the Trigger Con Ruckus and this head looks suspiciously like Ruckus's. So it's definitely hitting me on the nostalgia there. Some compared this guy to Crankcase, the other Trigger Con, but I'm, I'm thinking more Ruckus just because of, you know, just this face and the the green there. But uh, anyway, so as far as accessories goes, he's got his own version of the combiner hand foot thingy. It's a quad blaster. And you can just put it in his hand right there. And you know, it looks pretty good. As uh, all of them do. They're pretty nice like that. And also he's got these ports on the sides of his arms right there. And you can stick it on there for a forearm blaster. Or what you can also do is make it into kind of a shield. And I think that works well with his uh, regular weapon, which is this axe. And uh, I have to say, as a Gundam fan, the fact that this is purple and it's got kind of the classic battle axe look. I'm, I'm thinking this is a Zaku Heat Hawk. Just paint the edge in red and you got yourself a Heat Hawk. So yeah, he looks pretty good, you know, just kind of wielding his battle axe in one hand and just sort of like a buckler in the other hand he's definitely more of a kind of a thuggish part of the team more rugged and mean looking and um, other than that you know he's, he's pretty good now speaking of like the, the whole like arm port thing here I'm thinking he's also going to be swindle when they get around to the compaticons because you could just put a nice big gun on the side there and be like a uh, swindle from the cartoon so uh, other than that you know he's just very nice solid figure uh, the only thing that's kind of a bummer is that these arm shield things do kind of knock into his backpack a bit but you can always just kind of leave that off like that if you need a little more articulation there all right anyway so uh let's transform off-road into an arm all right so arm mode for off-road is Pretty straightforward, oh, there are a couple little tricks that you just need to be aware of. So you just kind of pop his head back on the combiner joint there. And unfortunately it kind of sticks out, his face does, uh, from the top. And you don't actually want to, like I was thinking you could rotate it back like this, but you're going to find that the top part of his head will just bang into stuff on the inside, so just leave it facing out, just kind of deal with that. With his arms here, you're just going to put them back like this. And there's a little tab right here that goes into a slot in his forearm right here. That happens on both sides. And uh, it just kind of gives you a way to keep these out of the way um, when he's all together in arm mode. Um, they're kind of tight on mine. Like one actually goes in place and the other one just doesn't really want to sit there or it doesn't really want to plug in. It'll sit there fine, but it doesn't want it to stay there. So that's kind of annoying. 
And you just sort of plug his lower legs together and spin his waist around. And you've pretty much got the forearm. Stick the combiner thing in there and just rearrange it into a hand. So this is off-road as an arm. I'm going to bring out Motormaster once again and just pop him right in there. So he's got the standard like combiner, uh, combiner wars limb articulation. He definitely works a bit better than uh, Breakdown because all of off-road stuff is just kind of nicely out of the way. So it's not really an issue there. And he has a functional elbow joint for arm curls and also the swivel joint as well. So if you're looking at this, so this is basically what uh, First Aid is going to look like as an arm. Although First Aid actually had a lot of uh, remolding from uh, the off-road mold. So, but general configuration is pretty much the same. So yeah, he's, he's a pretty good arm. Actually, I think I like using him a bit more than some of the others. Just like the regular classic combat or stunicons. So uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Anyway, so uh, let's turn him into a leg, which again is most of the way through to truck mode. All right, so with off-road's leg mode, you get to see his uh, pleasingly straightforward transformation. So first, we're just gonna pop off the hand thingy, leave it aside for now, straighten out his legs here, and um, like Alpha Bravo. Before, he actually has the whole open up the legs and there's this uh, swing bar mechanism on the inside. So that's like that. You just kind of work this in there so that this area plugs in under the cabin of the truck mode. And you just bring that all back down. With his arms, you're going to bring them forward, which is uh, slightly bent at the elbow just so that there's a tab in the arm shield that lines up with the forearm and just bring that all back down. So you just do that and then do it again on this side. And that always kind of locks in place very nicely. And this part is actually uh, somewhat tabbed in on either side and these little uh, depressions right there. So, just do that, take the combiner hand, jam it in the bottom there, and there you go, he's afoot now. I'm going to pair him off with Breakdown because that is kind of the usual configuration for Menasaur as the box shows. So, stick him in there, and here's Off-Road as a leg. And similar to Breakdown, he's just kind of a nice chunk of vehicle, in this case a truck, that makes for a pretty solid limb. And even the whole uh, foot thing, he looks all right down there. So he's got the same articulation. And once again, all this stuff kind of behaves very nicely and does not bang into parts of Motormaster. The only thing is that this can kind of get in the way when you're using the rotational joint there. But uh, otherwise, you know, he's, um, again, another very solid limb transformer and uh, feels pretty good. Alright, so let's finish off with his truck mode. So finishing off with off-road's vehicle mode, you know, basically all you do is straighten off the front of the truck and bring it down. Because you can actually you notice that um, with his combiner joint, his uh, knees cover up his head so you can actually rotate this back all the way unless you undo the lower legs. So if you just want to avoid all that, you can just leave the combiner joint out like this and it'll actually hide his head from below in truck mode. So uh, yeah, he's a um, nice little pickup truck thingy. And uh, as we saw, this is also going to be um, first aid, although again, heavily rebolted to become first aid. Basically, all like the outer panels are different, with the uh, I think just the body and the arms being the same. But uh, you yeah, know, he's nice. His his wheels will actually kind of roll a bit on my smooth vinyl backdrop here. And as I mentioned before, I 
think he's totally going to be a swindle when they get around to the Combaticons because of something about the front of the truck mode that just kind of feels a bit like a Jeep. And it wouldn't be bad to have Swindle just be a, a pickup truck instead of a little Jeep. So as far as weapon storage goes, there are those ports on the side which were from his forearms and you can just stick the gun there and you can just pop the axe on the side as well. Now the gun actually, the uh, combiner handgun thing, he actually has another trick where there's a slot right here in the front on the, the fingers right there and that actually will just go on to this tab that's right in the middle of his truck mode so you just sort of fit this underneath there and now he's kinda got a big back mounted engine thingy because uh, the details on this are definitely very uh, engine like you can kinda see that there and uh, oddly enough, First Aid does keep that even though he's more of an SUV, so it just kind of pops up on top for him. So yeah, other than like invisible feet in the back, he's again nice, solid, straightforward truck guy. And before we go, here's a size comparison with Motormaster and Breakdown. So it's interesting how he actually really compresses into this tiny little truck. Uh, maybe it's a Toyota. Uh, compared to the big Lamborghini and uh, somewhat more sizable semi-truck than Motormaster is. But other than that, Off-Road's a very solid Transformer figure. And I like the fact that, you know, he's this is definitely a kid's toy. You could hand this to a child and they wouldn't be able to break it. So he feels really good um, as a robot, as a truck, and as an arm or a leg. So uh, he's another character that, like, he's got nothing you know, like G1 equivalent. So if you just want, like, so if you're not like into that, he's still a very solid figure to pick up. And even if you don't get any other combiner limb guys, he'd be a nice little truck transformer to just play around with. So uh, anyway, this has been Andrew from CollectionDX.com, and uh, we're almost at the end of the Stunicons from Combiner Wars.